Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and & Glitter and today we're going to make a kale and butternut squash salad. This salad is super flavorful. It's got roasted butternut squash with cranberries and green onions and mushrooms and you toss that together with lemony massaged kale and it's just a super flavorful side dish that's great for any night of the week or for the holidays. We're gonna start by making the squash, and while that's cooking, we'll massage the kale and then put it all together. Start with four cups of diced butternut squash, and you want them to be diced into about half inch pieces, and it's really important that your pieces are pretty uniform. If your pieces are not uniform in size, they won't cook uniformly and you'll end up with some burnt pieces and some that are underdone, and I don't want that for you. It's also really important that when you peel that squash that you peel it really well. When you hit a butternut squash with a vegetable peeler that first time, a lot of times what'll happen is like the outer peel will come off, but you'll have that like light yellow inner peel still there. You wanna keep peeling until you see that like bright orange vibrant squash because that inner peel is hard and it will not cook up properly in the air fryer. Once you've got your butternut squash peeled and diced, toss it into a big old bowl with sliced green onions. You want your green onion pieces to be pretty long because they are going to cook down a lot in the air fryer. I love cooked green onion. If you haven't used them this way, it's really delicious. They get a little bit sweet and they crisp up in the air fryer. It's really lovely. Then add to the bowl eight ounces of button mushrooms and just quarter them. And you'll see that when I had some really small mushrooms, I just cut them in half. You just kind of want, again, uniform pieces so that they'll cook uniformly. Toss the veggies together and then set those aside and it's time to make the sauce. This sauce is really easy. You make it right in your blender. You don't even need a ton of it because you just wanna coat those veggies before they go into the basket. So grab your blender and add a tablespoon of olive oil a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and four cloves of fresh garlic. Puree your sauce ingredients until you have a smooth mixture and then pour them over the vegetables and just toss everything together until the vegetables are well coated. Then air fry it at 400 for 20 to 30 minutes. I know that's a really long cooking time range, but the amount of time it's going to take to cook is gonna depend on a lot of things the size of your squash pieces because it's not like you took out a ruler to measure these. Um, it's also gonna depend on your air fryer. Different air fryers cook at different rates and I don't want you to burn this, so I'm giving you a nice big time range. Every five minutes, you're gonna stop, give that basket a little shake, and then check on your squash. And it's ready when the squash pieces are all fork tender. Add in those dried cranberries and then toss everything just to get it evenly mixed. Now it's kale time. You want four cups of loosely packed kale torn into bite-sized pieces. Make sure that the stems are removed unless the people that you're serving this to really love kale. But if you're serving this to people who are not 100% on board with kale, the stems are gonna put them off because they do have a chewy texture that doesn't really change with massaging. Before you massage, you're going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice, a teaspoon of olive oil, and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt to your bowl. Then get in there with clean hands and just massage that kale. You'll feel it kind of crunching under your fingers. And as you massage, the color is gonna change from a light green to like this really rich, vibrant green. And you can really massage it until you get it to the texture that you want. Some people like their kale massaged a lot more than others. Just keep going till it looks good to you. Once you finish massaging the kale, you'll add the cooked veggies and dried cranberry mixture that you made earlier. Then add a half cup of toasted pine nuts and toss it all together to combine it really well. You wanna make sure that any sauce that's clinging to the cooked veggies gets on the kale and that all of that lemony, salty, oily goodness from the kale is getting on the cooked veggies so that you have a nice evenly flavored mixture. Then you're ready to serve. I hope that this video has answered all of your questions about how to make this kale and butternut squash salad. If you have any questions that I didn't address, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking.